Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. So this morning, I'd love for you to just lean into this message. I'd love for you to consider just quieting your mind, whatever it takes, take a deep breath, open your heart, and allow yourself to receive this message. I wanna begin with a quote that I've shared with you so many times over these last few months, because this quote is so powerful. But connected to the story I wanna share with you this morning, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, that is so absolutely perfect. The quote comes from Rumi. It's beyond right doing and wrong doing. There is a field, I'll meet you there. Beyond right doing and wrong doing, there is a field, I'll meet you there. So guess what? I found the field this past week and my daughter, my wife and I were out at the public dog park. It's the off-leash dog park. And if you've ever been to a place like that, you're like, oh my gosh, that is a place where there is so much joy, there is so much connection, there is so much just, it's beyond right doing and wrong doing. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you're about, but when you go beyond those things and you go into this field, oh my goodness, let the love fest begin. And I wanna tell you something that happened to me as we were driving into the parking lot. I was very, very cognizant of the fact that there were, this time of the year, there were a ton of Trump and Pence bumper stickers. And there were equally as much a ton of Biden and Harris stickers. So that was the first thing I noticed. Like, oh my goodness, we've got, we got the left, we got the right, we got everybody here. There were big gas guzzling pickups. There were electric and hybrid cars. There were little cars, there were big cars and there were little dogs and there were big dogs. And as we were walking into the gate, you could see the different people kind of all gathering and now people coming in saying hello and dogs getting to know each other. People are, people are sniffing. No, <laughs> maybe they were. <laughs> sniffing. Anyway, the dogs were sniffing, the people were saying good morning and saying hello. And it was absolutely one of the most amazing things I've experienced lately. Just, oh my goodness, right? We are living in such a time that I know a dog park isn't gonna solve what's happening in politics. And I do know that what's happening here in this country right now is so much deeper than what was happening this past morning in the dog park. But here's what I can tell you what I learned. You know, we do know that when we actually get beyond right doing and wrong doing, uh, wh where we believe our values are, and where we believe they should be, and how others are doing this and we're pointing fingers, when we go beyond that, even for just a few moments, we put our guard down. We put our defenses down. Our values start to dance and our values are like common humanity, joy, peace, laughter, seeing one another. You know what was beautiful in that dog park? People were seeing one another. Maybe they began by seeing the dog and they noticed and said, oh, what a cute dog, what a beautiful dog, what a friendly dog. And oh, oh hey, good morning. We got beyond all the right doings and the wrong doings because the park was an experience of you know, like pugs, not drugs, right? There was what happens when we're around animals. The oxytocin levels were rising. And when they happen to rise, we tend to see one another. The inflammation goes down. The connection gets closer. It was magical. And it was an experience that I saw before my very eyes that gave me a sense of hope. And it made me think, you know what, today, in every day the rest of our lives, we can understand that there are chemistries inside of all of us that are deeply spiritual. It's the willingness to open up our pharmacy, which is our heart, right? Open up your heart and let that oxytocin come through. Because we do know that simple eye contact, a simple hello, a simple smile, even with a mask on, we smile, smiles. And what's beautiful, it brings us together. I know there were people on the right and there were people on the left in that dog park and it didn't matter. What we did is we saw one another and we allowed ourselves to be ourselves and it worked. Democracy was working in the dog park. So however this story imprints itself upon you, allow it to. And I know it's not gonna solve, not even come close to solving the deep, deep divide that we have right now but maybe it's actually a few stones that are cast in the middle of that deep divide that over time they start to build up and they fill the divide. And then we can walk across and we can go over to the field, wherever that field is, beyond right doing and wrong doing. And we can find ourselves again, being one again. It's beautiful to re 
consider and to recognize, recognize that the differences between us are real, but the opportunities to build bridges it equally, equally as real. So with that, hugs, not drugs, pugs, not drugs. See one another, allow one another, be with one another, see what we can do with one another to be together. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.